Hey everyone, this is Code with Row. I'll be showing you how to set up the Sinti character to use with uh, Accent Combat Framework. First thing you want to do is go over to Tasty Mabe's channel, hit that subscribe. He does a lot of good content. And he has this project on this Google Drive link, which is going to contain all the Sinti stuff that you need. What you're really going to need is this UE5 Sinti rig. RAR. And then once that's downloaded, you're going to open up the project inside and you're going to pretty much just see this. When you hit play, you'll kind of just see a regular blue Sinti character being able to run around. And I'll exit out of that. And then what you're going to do is migrate the content over to your, your ACF project. So I'll hit migrate, I'll migrate everything. And then I'm just going to copy paste the or content folder of the other ACF project. Hit accept. And then I'll go back to this. And what I'm going to do is open this drop down that says select a game mode. And I'll expand it a bit so you can see, and I'll find it in the content browser. And then I'll double click to open it. And what I'm going to do next is go to the skeletal mesh, change this to Sinti, and then change this to Sinti as well. The anim class will be ABP underscore Sinti. And then you're going to hit compile, save, and then click on this to go to the asset for the ABP Sinti. Um, sometimes I need to do this, maybe not anymore, or maybe this is just an old habit. I break it, I compile it, save it, and then I reattach it. I just, I don't know why, one time I had an error where if I, for some reason, after I did this, then it started working. Okay, so I'll close this out. And then what I'm gonna do next, I'll hit play just to check if my character's working. And you'll see that the Sinti ACF is in fact working and kind of animating, yeah, but the weapons are all on the ground and I want to fix that. So now what I'm going to do next is go to the skeleton. So I'll open the ACF UE5 Manny, and I just did that from opening the ACF full player UE4 and then hitting this, go to find in the content browser for the SCAM Manny, click on this. And then I open this up and you'll see a bunch of sockets here already. And then I want to open the Sinti one. So I'll go to skeletal mesh where I assigned this to Sinti skeleton or Sinti mesh asset. And then I'll hit find in the content browser and I'll open the skeleton right here. So all I'm going to do is just copy the socket. Um, so spine five won't work just because I believe it's just because it's a different bone name. So you'll notice that when I copy paste spine five to spine three, since Sinti assets only have three spine bones, it's just going to go straight to the root. Yeah, so I'll drag each and every one of this. I wish I could just shift click all of them and just drag it all at once, but it doesn't, it doesn't let me do that. If I try it, it just does whichever one I highlight over. I'll hit save. And then that's the only one that you can't copy over. The rest, I think you can. So for example, for hand L, I'll copy this, right click copy or control C, and then I'll find hand L. So that's hand R, hand L, and then, yeah. So I was able to copy these, a shield, left weapon, bow hand, and left hand socket. And then for the right hand, I'll copy and paste to hand R, hand underscore R. There we go. Perfect. So now, so you're going to notice a couple things. So first, save it. And then when I hit play, um, it looks fine. Don't adjust anything. You don't need to adjust this part yet on the equips because when you wear armor, it is going to have that space naturally. Unless you're actually just going to use this mesh, then you can put it right up against his back. But yeah, the armor will add a little bit of a distance and it's okay to overlap. I know a lot of games do have some overlapping issues, but it's totally fine, especially when armors are different sizes. But this part, when it's in your hand, you can go ahead and adjust that stuff because it is backwards for empty characters. It'll still hit, but it is, um, it's just pointing the wrong way. And to do that, and under single hand weapon, I'm gonna add a preview asset, the sword, and then what I kind of want to do is just have it face the correct way. So I just want to fit it in his hand properly. I'm going to just make it down here. I want the blade to be, oh, whoops. 
on the outside. Yeah, just like that. A little bit down, down. And I'll twist it a little so it's not overlapping too much with his fingers. And I'll hit save. And I only did it for this one, the single hand weapon on the right. And then I'll go ahead and do it on the left, the left weapon. So I'll add the same preview mesh, I'll do sword. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> that, that's, that's not what we want. And the blade is gonna be on the outside. Just a little up. Yeah, so this is fine for now. So now when I go back to my character, it kind of looks okay, actually. Yeah. Okay, so I'll save this. And now let me see my character. It looks pretty wonky, but I mean, it's way better than what it was before. Okay. I think it's fine. So the gun socket, I did not, um, didn't change. But it's working on my left hand. It's, it's backwards, but it's, it's still showing up. So a lot of the sockets will need adjusting. All right. Yeah. So that's pretty much all I did to get the sockets over. Um, I think in the next ACF tutorial, I'll probably go over inventory drops. That's a question I, I get a lot. It's how to have it appear on the ground, how to pick it up, how to auto equip and so on. So yeah. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and let me know what tutorials you want to see next. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you.